Howdy all, it is I, your old mate DP, here in the glorious DP Dome. Now please cast your mind back to Football Manager 2023. I know it was a while ago, but we undertook an epic journey here in the DP Dome. The Wizard of Oz, a huge save with the aim of going from Australia with no coaching badges at all, winding up in Europe and winning the European Champions League and finished it, mate. It was awesome. We went from Australia to South Korea, to Italy, to Germany, then England, won the whole thing with Manchester United and had a jolly old time. We won trophies at every single stop along the way, except for one, Italy. We joined Palermo FC. There was no money to be had despite them being part of the city group. Yeah, that city group. Some of the signings were a little, um, let's say, questionable, for lack of a better term. No idea whose fault that was, but they need an uppercut, seriously. Regardless, we won trophies everywhere except Italy. We've got unfinished business. FM25 has been delayed. It's time to go back. It's time to set things right. It is time for Project Palermo. Here we go then, Project Palermo, and we are pretty in pink. But before we get started, a couple of little housekeeping things. So first off, we don't use player search or any of that nonsense around these parts. I barely touch the data hub, to be honest. But everything we do in-game is reliant on in-game things, like the scouting and recruiting teams and coaching teams and all of that. So no wonder kid lists or any outside knowledge brought in, which is fine because I don't really follow Italian football whatsoever. Uh, also, we have modified the database slightly for this save, not hugely, and technically it wasn't me. I downloaded the FM25 uh, DLC from Sorted Out SI and applied that. I've then started with a generic no-name manager and holidayed forward until pretty much today's date so that we can get everything as in line as possible. And uh, then I've added myself into the game. So all of that being said and out of the way, I think it's time to check out our brand new home in Palermo, Italy. Let's go. Right, this is Australia. And I need to hide my beautiful face because OBS really doesn't like doing this. There we go. So from Australia, we head over to Italy because that's where Palermo is. We've, these are facts we've already established. But we head to Palermo, which is actually in Sicily, and there is our ground. It's very, very pretty. And we can swing around here for a slightly better angle. And if you look in the middle there, you should be able to see some signage. The club shop lives over there. Let's dive in for a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a closer look at that and a better image. Oh, the movement. Oh, I hope you don't get motion sick. Apologies, people. There we are. The Stadio Comunale Renzo Barbera. Apologies for the accent. Uh, but you can see the Store Officiale Stadio Renzo Barbera right there. So you can grab shirts and drink bottles and hats and snacks. Uh, Palermo branded pasta. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm assuming that's the thing. And I hope so. I'm getting hungry. Anyway, we'll zoom back out and then dive back in. I'm really playing up this motion sickness thing. That's one way to get a reaction, I suppose. But we can also dive in from here and have a look at the stadium proper. It's a bit of a mess. And here it is, our stadium, the home of Palermo. And lucky for you lot, I packed a laser pointer. Sorry to all those people. Oh, geez, I've just shined it right in their eyes. Good Lord. So here's a football pitch. We have a goal and a goal and some lines that's going to be handy that will help avoid confusion so if you have a look around this person is on a laptop if i had brains what i would have done is edited in someone playing football manager that could have been quite funny that guy might be maybe it's fm25 and he's got a an alpha copy who knows but we didn't do that this isn't that kind of channel some empty seats here this guy is very very interested in his wrist so Good luck to him with that. These guys look like they're having a great time. So they probably are playing football manager. Sneaky little devils. We've got some cameras up here for 
for filming things on a very classy looking roof. Right, let's have a, a spin around here. Lots more seats for people. Very much looking forward to filling this ground with screaming pink fans and having a great time. What do we got going on over this side? Pink shirt here. Yep, pink shirts. Love that. Love it. This guy's on his phone swiping left or, or right and looking over his shoulder. So suspect his wife's around here somewhere. Unless this is her. No, she's looking the other way. She's on the phone and fanning herself. So a little hot and bothered. Maybe because of these guys playing football manager over here. Maybe she's on the phone to the boss saying, hey, boss, these guys are slacking off. And more power to her, I say. That's unacceptable. Obviously, discipline will be an issue at this club. We'll deal with that. Then you can see the dugouts down here. One of those is going to be ours. That's where we're going to do our work and whip this team into shape. Don't even know what position they're in in the league yet, but whipping. I just like playing with the laser pointer at this point. It's fun. Uh, but yeah, that is the home of Palomo. And that's where we're going to be doing our job. We've got a more roof over here and some lights. We're going to have a great time. And look at that backdrop, will you? Look at that. Absolutely glorious, surrounded by mountains, and there's ocean over the other side, and oh, it's going to be beautiful. Right, let's go sign our contract and uh, and get to work, people. Chop chop. And here we are with breaking news. Did he, did he, did he, did he. That's the new sound. Breaking news from Italy. Palermo hire 2028. Palermo have today confirmed the appointment of Deadpool 2028. That's me as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised like this. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the inexperienced 43-year-old, 43, -year -old, 43. <laughs> uh, and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Renzo Barbera La Favorita. He replaces previous manager Giuseppe Iacchini. On your bike, Giuseppe. We're here. You're out. Uh, Palermo have been disappointing in the Serie B, KT, Serie B so far this season. Hmm. Hmm. It's fine. And find themselves in 15th place. Awesome. Palomo FC have won two, lost two, and drawn one of their last five matches. Excellent. Uh, again, bearing in mind, we're kicking off in October. So transfer window, everything's already done. We're coming in in October. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Don't panic. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. It's fine. It's going to be fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Dario Miri is our chairperson. I will stop doing the rolling ass thing. I promise. It's just, I'm very excited. Uh, Dario Miri, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Palermo. Thank you, Dario. Uh, or Mr. Miri. Dario, it's fine. Ahead of discussions regarding the club's vision and objectives, we have prepared a welcome pack to help you settle into your new home. Excellent. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Why, thank you very much, Dario. I feel very welcome. There's our logo. It's sexy. There's our shirt. The old Wild West. Hell yeah. Some some Will Smith-isms. We're predicted to finish second and we're in 15th. So awesome. And we finished seventh last season, which would be the 23-24 season that we simmed through. Not off to a great start. Our director of football is Morgan De Sanctis. Our assistant manager is Giuseppe. Giuseppe Carrillo. Carrillo? Carrillo? Carrillo. I'm going with Carrillo. We were founded in the year 1900. Bang on. That must have been difficult to synchronize. And our fierce rivals are Catania. There you go. We're in Serie B. Uh, we're in 15th. We're in the Copa Italia. In the second round, our stadium holds 36,000 people or 36,365 built in 1932. Hopefully they've made some upgrades and improvements since then. Uh, we have a football academy, great training facilities, good youth facilities and above average youth recruitment. Right. So we'll be looking to leverage some of that. Our finances are okay. Two and a half million quid transfer budget. Lovely. I play FM in pounds. We use in pounds. And the wage budget, 350 grand. Not bad. So as a club, which enjoyed its best spell of success during the 2010s and their last competition win coming as recently as 2020, Rossonero are a club with a growing history. Palomo finished runners-up in the Copa Italia in 1974, 1979 and 2011, 
won the Italian second tier in 1932, 1968, 2004, and 2014, and finished runner-up on two occasions, won the Coppa Italia Serie C in 1993, and finished second best three further times, and finished runners-up in the Supercoppa de Liga 1A Divisione in 2001. There's got to be an easy way to say all this stuff. But it seems we've had a few wins, but quite often we are the bridesmaids. So we need to change that. Ahead of providing a fuller review of the playing squad here, uh, the coaching staff have compiled a summary of the team. Well, that was good of them. Our key player is Matteo Brunori. We remember Brunori from the Wizard of Oz. If you don't, you can go back and watch it. It's all on the channel. Full streams from uh, the Twitch side of things. You can check that out and have a great time. But Brunori is there. He scores goals. I remember him. Part of the problem we had is I sold him because he was old. Won't be making that mistake again. I hate this formation already. This is disgusting. A back three. It's basically a, a back six. No, just just no. This explains why we're in 15th. And then we've got some wing backs that I don't want. Rather than have full backs, thank you very much. So we only need two defenders. A DM. I like a DM. And some midfielders. I'm thinking maybe a diamond, depending on the personnel, possibly wingers to change things up. We've got some transfer obligations, someone coming in uh, at the end of the season from Parma, another dude from Torino, and Salim Diakite uh, is on his way to Empoli at the end of the season. We've got a bunch of loans uh, from Parma, from Torino, uh, and some loans out there. So we don't really need to worry about them until they come back. We've loaned this guy to an Aussie team. He's gone off to Brisbane, the Brisbane Roar. They can keep him. I don't want him back. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff we've got to get through. Uh, Dario's here. The board have settled on a long-term vision, but I'll set up a quick meeting in a few days to discuss any minor adjustments you might want to wait. Board culture. Do not sign players over the age of 30. That is not a problem because I very, very rarely do actionable objectives grow the club's reputation that's the plan uh, and work within the wage budget we've got 350 grand we should be fine maximum one year contracts for players over the age of 33 but they don't want us to sign anyone over the age of 30 so we can tick those off right now same for this one two year contracts for players over the age of 31 i told you i'm excited I'm tripping over my tongue minimum two year contracts for first team players fair enough uh, they want us to finish mid-table in the Serie B. <laughs> no, thank you. And be competitive in the Coppa Italia. And at the end of next season, they want us promoted to Serie A. Hopefully, we can do that a bit faster. And uh, then my contract will expire. I haven't even seen my contract yet. So that's exciting. Let's click next. Uh, Dario is back in again. Our supported liaison officer has asked for you to be provided with details to the club's supporter culture and expectations. Develop players using the club's U system. We'll do play attacking football. Always finish above Frozenone in the league. Cool. Get the better of Messina if we happen to play against them. Finish above Bari. Finish above Catania and record a top half finish. So mid table from the board. Fans want top half. Fair enough. And then we've got all this stuff. So I'll sort all this stuff out. I'll see you in my office in just a sec. We're in the office. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Giordano Zanella is our press officer. We'll never say his name again. There's my gorgeous profile picture. Oh, I love it. And confirmation that we have taken the Palermo hot seat. Lovely stuff. Our supporter profile. Here we go. 12% hardcore fans. Half a million social media followers is not bad. 12,000 plus season ticket holders. Loving that. And let's have a look at all this. We just did really. So let's accept all of the club vision stuff because that all looked tasty. Player wise, a whole bunch in the last year of their contract, including this guy, Francesco De Mariano, who looked good, but he has absolutely no interest in signing a new contract. Uh, some of these have enough time, lacking potential. A lot of youngsters who will probably move on. Uh, this guy's not good enough for defensive midfielder who's out on loan. Uh, Patrick Peter, probably for the best uh, that he moves on, given that name. Playing time, expectations. This guy's a fringe player, breakthrough prospect, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. So we don't need to worry about them. Tactical direction required. I'm not going to do that now. We haven't even had a look at the squad yet. Set piece induction. We can't do that until we've set a tactic. 
let's have a look at the money situation. So we know we've got a two and a half million pound transfer budget, which is very tasty. The 350 grand of wage budget. And we've got about 40 to play with, which is nice. We can't spend it, as you can see, 22nd of October. So no transfer window. We're going to have to wait to do any business until January. Uh, but if we have a look at the projection, D, that's a little bit dire. And sponsor wise, we have a whole bunch of them that end at the end of the season. So hopefully uh, we can do a good job and attract some better sponsors. Look at the pie moving. Look at that. Go pie. Bing, 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 bing. Love a good pie. Debt and loans, not too much going. I believe if that's red for transfer debt, that means we are owed money. So maybe we can bring some more in. So that's nice. Expenditure is pretty huge. Income is pretty good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, so there we go. Our captain is Chakaroni. Our vice captain is Nicolau. We've got a whole bunch of favorite personnel and icons and uh, some really, really good alumni at this club. Luca Tony is right there. Uh, Paolo Dybala is there. Josip Bilicic, uh, Zamperini, Tedesco, some pedigree, I believe, is the term. Loving that. Our competitions, the Sierra B, we are way lower than we need to be, so we need to set about fixing that. And our next match in the Coppa Italia is against Hellas Verona. Lovely stuff. Our next match in the league is against Barry in five days. So let's have a look here uh, at what's been going on. Yikes. That's a lot of red dots. We drew against Vicenza and then we lost against Venezia. Barry is a team who are one of our rivals, I believe, and the fans want us to finish above them. So we're going to need to pull out a win. We don't have any European competitions or anything like that. It's just the Coppa Italia and the league that we have to worry about, but these results aren't great. And conceding these goals like that with a back six that they've been playing is madness. So, yeah, we're going to need to get onto that. Let's go and meet the players. Here we are. Let me just fix the view here. Auto size. My FM always shifts them. It's really annoying. Anyway, uh, so we've got some goalkeepers and some other players. That's all good. Let's just sort them by ability for now and find our best ones. So this guy, Blin, is a midfielder. This guy, Pierozzi, is a defender or wingback. We've got a good striker, a good midfielder. So some decent quality here. There's Demiriani. There's Matteo Brunori, who only has two goals in 10 games. I mean, there's your problem right there. You're not getting any service to your strikers. Probably because everyone's in your back line. A lot of threes to start, which is definitely usable, but this is an enormous squad. Good heavens. And if you look at potential, look, a lot of promising youngsters he's 25 so he's probably not going to get any better than his 24 year olds or worry but not a whole lot of youth knocking about the place if we sort by age youngest player is a goalkeeper at 20 who is trash so mm, bit of a concern and then if we sort by positions four goalkeepers is excessive one of them's 38 yikes got a right back who's unregistered to worry or is out on loan i think center backs left sided right sided more center backs and dms this guy can play anywhere across the back so that's good more left side whole lot of midfielders an attacking mid another attacking mid most of these guys can play central we've got a lot of wingers why aren't you using your wingers you maniacs like this guy de mariano he's on the transfer list he's excellent and you're just not using him. I mean, this is kind of screaming for a, a 4 2 3 one, isn't it? Let's go to the tactic screen and have a play. I would like to get into a little bit of wing play and not a 4 4 2. 4 4 3 with DMs wide, that could be a way to go. Yeah, I like the look of that. Let's go with that. Okay. And then we'll go positive. Thank you very much. I'm not a fan of sitting back. And if we go quick pick, I mean, that is looking decent, is it not? I'm not crazy. You're crazy. A lot of yellow lines. Nobody likes each other. 
uh, everybody's an enemy. That works for me. That'll do just fine. We're also going to filter out uh, anyone who is not at the club. Okay, and then it starts making a little bit more sense. Some of these guys could have a run. We do have another attacking mid, which is interesting. But we've got a lot of options down on the bench. Where's this guy going? He's joining us permanently. So, all right. It is a big squad, though. Uh, if we go back here, nope, not there. Oh, God. And highlight everybody. 29. That is a big squad. We could do with a few less. Maybe we'll send some of the youngsters out on loan. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. We definitely need a new goalkeeper, though, in January. Because I'm not happy with any of those options at all. But other than that, we've got plenty to work with. Uh, the assistant manager is going to look after training and everything else. So we don't need to worry about any of that garbage. And we can just focus on getting down to work. But if we have a look at the squad planner, so goalkeepers, we know it's a little bit dire at left back. Plenty of options there, and I'm happy with those. Uh, at centre back, whole bunch of players. Uh, some of them aren't happy or don't want to be here, but that's fine. We'll use them. But plenty of depth at the back, which I like. Also at right back, which is great. At DM, defensive mid, plenty of players who can help us out there. Same at the central midfield positions. Uh, left wing, plenty of players who can help us out. Right wing, plenty of players who can help us out, which is good. And then up front. Uh, an embarrassment of riches. So we don't need to do a lot. I think it's just the, the shape. I think we're going to be fine. And we really don't have to stress. We've got plenty of depth, plenty of options. It's just the goalkeepers that are a worry. Not that much to do. We just need to right this ship and stop all of this rot. So uh, we'll leave it there for now. We've had a look at the club. I will go away and get everything set up for our first match as... Uh, Palermo manager against Bari or Barry. I'm going to call him Barry. I am very excited to get to work here at Palermo. If you have enjoyed yourself and if you are excited, hit the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next part where we play our first matches. This is going to be awesome. <laughs>